All right, we are back with another video. Uh, you know, there has not been a ton of stuff going on in baseball news uh, the past couple of weeks between the bets trade. Well, I guess really since just last week, because once the bets trade, and then there's still some weird stuff going on with that. Alex Verdugo, uh, Alex Verdugo might miss the beginning of the season. So, but I don't know. It's and whatever. But I am going to be talking about this piece of news that dropped a couple of days ago that the um, baseball, that the commissioner and Major League Baseball in general is thinking about implementing some rule changes for the playoffs. Uh, so, I mean, well, let's get into it before. So, these rule changes, if they were, the intention is to implement them by the 2022 season, to start the 2022 season at the earliest. So, even if it was a thing, it wouldn't happen for a couple of years. But when I first heard about this, I was like, this terrible idea. So the proposed rule changes are to have uh, seven teams in each division make the playoffs. So remember a couple of years ago how there was so much talk about adding a fifth team in each division to the playoffs. And I was really in support of that because I felt like under the old system where the three division winners and then one wild card, there wasn't really an incentive to win the division. You know, because... You know, I mean, there was if if everything's really tight, but there were a couple of years where the Yankees and the Red Sox were so far ahead of everyone that it really didn't matter who won the division. They were just, you know, you know, it's better to set up your uh, pitching rotation. Oh, yeah. Check these out. I got these as a decoration. I got it. Jake Taylor and uh, Rick Wild Thing Vaughn from uh, Major League. Thought they were cool. And uh, you can go check out my other YouTube channel that I just started to see what I'm doing with these guys and other stuff. So uh, unuseful unboxing, go check it out. But um, so yeah, I was in favor of it, of the five teams in each league because it would give incentive to teams winning the division. No matter, you know, even if, you know, two teams in the division were way ahead of the rest of the league. You know, it, it, I mean, if two teams in a division have 90 wins, you know, they're basically both guaranteed the playoffs. But with the five teams, you basically, you incentivize the, 
one of those teams to actually want to win the division because the loser, the wild card team, would then have to play a play-in game against the second wild card team. And, you know, in baseball and really any sport, but mostly baseball, I think, anything can happen on any given day. So, uh, to me, it just incentivized the team to win the division. And you still only had 33% of the teams making the playoffs. So, I didn't feel like there were too many teams making the playoffs now. But under this there would be 14 teams making the playoffs. That's about 50% of the league. You know, there are 30 teams. And uh, I just don't see, you know, it, it makes no sense because we see what happens in basketball. And then, I mean, I don't pay attention to hockey that much, but you know, I'd imagine the same kind of thing goes on in hockey, where in basketball, you have a couple of under 500 teams make the playoffs every year, which is just horrible. Like, So I'm all for keeping it smaller. And so basically what, they, what they're suggesting is that the top team in each conference makes the uh, gets a buy, and then the rest of the teams play each other in a three-game series. And then basically you're back to the four teams: the division series, the championship series, and then the World Series. I don't know what they would call the new thing. Who knows? But so I don't know. And then so the other thing is that I don't know, there's talks about some kind of uh, some kind of draft. Like where, so it's, the proposal also includes one other eyebrow-raising provision. Per Sherman, the top three non-buy playoff teams would select their first round opponents. This is more or less standalone court. But one that does hint at some of the motivation here Sherman notes that the league would plan to televise a live selection show. This package of potential changes is obviously designed both to increase the general competitive appeal of many games and to spice things up with some quirks. Now, this whole draft thing sounds ridiculous because you know, the whole thing, you know, fight for your seat. Basically, if you're if you're a fifth or if you're not anywhere close to the top three seats, why try? And uh, like what I was going back to, it's not like it's uh, I don't know, it's anything can happen in baseball. So why uh, try and mess with it. It just, I don't know, it's crazy. I And I mean, when I first heard about this, I said, in I think the fantasy league I'm in, I said like, you can't expand the playoffs until you add more teams, you know. If there's 16 teams in the division, then add a team 
add two teams to the playoffs. Yeah. If there is a... Uh, then later down the road, if you add two more teams to the league, you add two more teams to the playoffs. You know, it's... I mean, I... You can't add two more teams every time, but you get what I'm saying. Like, don't add teams that would just, I got it, water down the playoffs is what I'm saying. Like, that's the other thing. In the NBA, only hardcore NBA fans care about the playoffs before the conference finals. You know, so why should we care? Like, why, what, what makes you think that this would actually work? And the other thing that gets brought up that's a good point is if you're going to be adding a three-game playoff, to the beginning of the postseason, that means you're going to be guaranteeing uh, November baseball. And, uh, you know, it's just crazy to have November baseball because, you know, for all the northern teams, you have to worry about snow in November. So, I don't know. This whole thing sounds like a mess. And apparently the Major League Baseball Players Association didn't even know about it. So, I'm wondering maybe if this is just, because the CBA is coming up. I think at the end of this, in you know, in December is when the uh, CBA is up, the collective bargaining agreement. So maybe this is, they just came up with this as like a bargaining chip, like saying, we really want to do this. And then uh, taking it away when giving the players something. I don't, I don't know. And like make making it seem like you're conceding, I it makes no sense. But this sounds like a horrible idea. I don't think it should happen. I mean, the way baseball is constructed right now, you would have a third place team in one of the divisions make the playoffs. Well, actually, yeah. Yeah, you have a third place team. Yeah, there are five teams in each division. So it's not as bad as when there were four teams in each division, but still. And really, it would just take away from the wild card race. I mean, yeah, I guess then you'd have a new wild card race, but I don't know. You know, race to six, race to seventh. That's what it would be. But so I'm just not a fan of this. It just makes no sense. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. And uh, check out the unusefulidiots.com. And like I said before, check out my new channel, Unuseful Unboxing, Unuseful underscore Unboxing, where I'll be unboxing stuff, you know, all kinds of stuff, food, toys, all baseball cards, all kinds of stuff. So check that out. And, uh, yeah, see ya. Bye.